Yes, part three, talking about God is the cause of earthquakes. You know why? Because he got the whole world in his hands. He got the whole world in his hands. He got the whole world in his hands. He got the whole wide world in his hands. Yes, my God got the world in his hands. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. He sits on his throne and the earth is his footstool so he can cross his legs and shake the entire earth. My God. So we're moving right along and I was talking about uh, when Jesus was crucified that God sent an earthquake and it opened the mouth of the earth. This time, people didn't fall in, but people came out. The dead that was on the good side and Lord Paradise came out and went, went walking the streets, my God, of Jerusalem and was seen by men. And after that, they went on up with the Christ. But the disobedient that was in hell, they remained there and waiting for the second death which is the lake of fire after judgment. Hell is the county jail waiting for you to be processed to prison. It's a holding pattern. It's not the final destination. But if you want to read about the dead people getting up, uh, what it means by dead, it means that you're cut off from this life. You're dead to this life. It don't mean you don't exist anymore. You're dead from this life but you're living forevermore somewhere else. So the dead from this life that was alive in Lord Paradise, my God, got up and went walking the streets of Jerusalem. And you can read that in Luke, the 27th chapter, verse 51 through verse 54. And after all this had happened and, and, the, and the dead was getting up and the earthquake. The centurion, the centurion said, truly, this was the son of God. When Paul and Silas was in prison, they began at midnight to pray and sing praises unto God. And suddenly there was a great earthquake sent by God, so that the foundations of the prison were shaken. And immediately all the doors were opened, and everyone's bands were loose. Isn't that something? God sent an earthquake to loose the chain and unshackle Paul and Silas. My God. So you see, earthquakes don't happen by chance or uh, they are not part of mother's na nature but earthquakes come from God the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof how many know that God can cause an axe head to swim did you know that there was a, a man a brother chopping wood and he had a borrow axe and he and when he was chopping wood, the axe head flew off and went into the water. And he began to cry out to the man of God about the, the axe head. And uh, the man of God said, where's the axe head? And he says, in the water. So the man of God, by God, all, all power will come from God through us. We are just, just the vessel he used. He took a stick and he put that stick in the water, and that stick went towards that axe head and joined with that axe head. And they began to swim ashore. Isn't that something? God can do anything. God can do anything. God can do Anything God can do, anything but fail, he can 
say he can heal all that let him I know he will God can do anything but fail isn't that something my God oh I feel good this evening so moving right along uh, where there are Christians worshiping and praising God and preaching his word that part of the earth is preserved because Christians are the salt of the earth like salt preserved meat down in the south of Mississippi they said the men used to hang hogs and up in the, in the barns, up in the shed, and they would salt them down real good to preserve them, to keep them from spoiling them. So uh, this is where Christians are to the earth. We are salt to the earth to keep the earth from spoiling, hmm? to keep the earth in our part where we worship God from earthquakes. So, uh, that part of the earth where salt is, is preserved because Christians, once again, are the salt of the earth. Like salt preserved meat, so does Christians preserve the earth in parts. So God will not destroy the righteous with the wicked. St. Matthew, the fifth chapter and the thirteenth verse. Ye are the salt of the earth. But if the salt have lost his savior or strength, it is thenceforth good for nothing but to be cast out. If Christians lose their seasoning, the Holy Spirit, their salvation, they are no longer good for nothing. They become just like any other thing. Huh? Salt with no strength is good for nothing. So you should thank God. You should thank God if you are a sinner that dwell in the land among Christians because that part of earth is preserved. Uh-huh. It will rain on the just as well on the unjust. If the unjust is around salt, around Christians, they will get rained on also. If they have a, 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 a field with seeds inside, with corn and all type of vegetables, and they, their yard is right next to a, a Christian, God will pour out his rain on the unjust as well as the just because they're side by side. But if the son of man was all to himself in a foreign land, God would withhold the rain. I'm in the following. Yep, where there is salt, there is preservation. And you can trust in God, free from the fear of earthquakes. Man, I enjoyed that message and I hope you learn something today earthquakes are not by chance no not by mother nature excuse me and not because of storms but earthquakes come because of the wickedness of people and it is a correction and a judgment of God to those that worship idols and those that come against God's people Vengeance in his mind, said the Lord. Well, this is Minister Hill. Hoping you have a blessed day all over the world. And don't forget, as a woman, stand by your man in this economic time. Uh, one man asked his wife, said, honey, if I lost my job, will you still love me? She said, yeah, and I miss you too. <laughs> well, God bless you. I'll see you the next time. Have a good evening.